This video covers how to perform an end of circuit voltage test. This tests the voltage at the end of a line, verifying proper voltage. When installing or testing any Chromalox heat trace product, always utilize the proper personal protective equipment and be sure to comply with all applicable safety guidelines. Before beginning the voltage test, ensure that all test equipment is in good repair and calibrated. Only qualified and trained personnel should administer the test. End of circuit voltage tests are performed at startup and periodically for maintenance. In order to perform an end of circuit voltage check, you will need a standard multimeter. Ensure that the multimeter has auto range to 600 volts. Using a battery operated multimeter is recommended, but digital or analog multimeters will work as well. Now let's get started. The first step is to de energize the circuit. Next, remove the end cap. After you've removed the cap, Expose the bus wires. Then connect one test lead to each bus wire and energize the circuit. Read the resulting voltage and compare the reading to the desired value. Finally, don't forget to record the reading in the test log. The end of circuit voltage test is now complete. For more information on multimeters or any other Chromalox product, visit www.chromalox.com.